Ladies and gentlemen, India as a democracy took a giant step towards gender equality in 2023 when the Women's Reservation Bill was passed by Parliament. By 2029, according to the bill, 33% seats in state assemblies and the Lok Sabha will be reserved for women. This is great. Reservation is great. But can the boys club that is Indian politics afford some respect to women as well? Reservation is great. Respect will be better. If you look at what has happened in the last 48 hours, the answer to that question is a pessimistic no. First, it happened with Kangna Ranaut. She's a freshly minted BJP neta who's been given a ticket from her hometown in Mandi, Himachal Pradesh. Now, we all know Kangna is a divisive figure. You either like her or you don't. But no one, absolutely no one, not a woman, not a man, can get away by posting a picture of a scantily clad actor and saying, Kya bhav chal raha hai mandi mein? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? You're objectifying a woman and sexualizing her act of fighting an election. It is unfortunate. It is uncalled for. The dirt, surprisingly, was dished out by Congress spokesperson Supriya Srinit. She's a face you often see on television debates. She says she didn't do it, but no one is buying her version. मेरे फेसबुक और इंस्टाग्राम अकाउंट का एक्सेस कई लोगों के पास है उसमें से किसी एक व्यक्ति ने आज एक बेहद घृणित और आपत्तिजनक पोस्ट की मुझे जैसे ही पता चला मैंने सर्वप्रथम उस पोस्ट को डिलीट किया क्योंकि जो कोई भी मुझे जानता है वो अच्छी तरह से जानता है कि मैं कभी भी किसी भी महिला के खिलाफ व्यक्तिगत भद्दी और भोंदी टिप्पणी कर ही नहीं सकती हूं मैं इसकी घोर विरोधी हूं फिर मैंने जानना चाह कि आखिर ये कैसे हुआ तब पता चला कि ट्विटर पर मेरा नाम का दुरुपयोग करके एक पैरोडी अकाउंट चलाया जा रहा है सुप्रिया पैरोडी के नाम से वहीं पर ही ऑब्जेक्शनेबल पोस्ट हो और वहीं से किसी ने कॉपी पेस्ट करके मेरे फेसबुक और इंस्टा पे डाला नाउ कंगना विल ऑफिशियली बी जॉइनिंग द बीजेपी टुडे हर फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्स वॉज अ डिग्निफाइड वन अ वेरी डिग्निफाइड वन शी सेड एवरी वुमन डिजर्व डिग्निटी किसी भी महिला को अपमानित करना आ, उसके आई मीन यू नो सेक्शुअलाइज करना और खासकर सबसे ज़्यादा जो मुझे दुख हुआ है वो जो मंडी जिसे छोटा काशी कहा जाता है पूरे विश्व में छोटे काशी के नाम से प्रसिद्ध है जहाँ पे ऋषि पराशर से लेकर ऋषि मार्कंडेय जी ने तपस्या की है उसके बारे में इतनी भद्दी टिप्पणी तो हम सब मंडीवासी जो हैं वो बहुत ही आ, कष्ट हमें हुआ है The Congress, meanwhile, has reminded Kangana Ranaut of a 2020 interview where she had called Urmila Matondkar, then a Congress candidate, a soft porn star. As Kangana enters active politics, they say it will be good for Kangana to keep in mind that respect is a two-way street. Meanwhile, the BJP has taken a strong exception to this and approached the Election Commission seeking action against Supriya Srinit. They are also calling this an example of the Congress's anti-women mindset. Now, the controversy that played out on Sunday vis-a-vis -vis Kangana Ranaut should have been a cautionary tale for Monday or Tuesday. Was it? Of course not. One BJP leader, a repeat offender, went right ahead and washed away the moral high ground that his party was taking vis-a-vis -vis the Kangana issue. His name is Dilip Ghosh. He's a BJP MP from Bengal. And while attacking Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee today, he crossed the red line. He asked her to figure out who her father was. He said, and this is the context, he said that Ms. Banerjee goes around saying that she's the daughter of Bengal, she's the daughter of Goa, she's the daughter of Tripura. Then he said she should figure out first who her father is. Much like the BJP now, the TMC too is approaching the election commission. बांग्ला निजर भाई पो के चाहे बिहार यूपी थे के दीदी की ये गोवा तो बोलूं अमी गोवार में त्रिपुरा में अमी त्रिपुरा में अमी बाप तो ठीक करूं जातर में हाँ ठीक ना पश्चिम बंगाल के दुर्गापुर कांस्टिट्यूएंसी के प्रत्याशी दिलीप घोष जी जो मेदनीपुर में पहले खड़े हुए थे अभी उनको दौड़ाकर दुर्गापुर भेजा 
जिस तरह का बयान उन्होंने ममता दीदी के खिलाफ दिया है कि ममता दीदी अपने पिताजी का पहचान दे इस तरह का वक्तव्य हमारे देश के परंपरा में महिलाओं के प्रति हमने कभी नहीं सुना So ladies and gentlemen whether it is a young first time candidate or a veteran woman chief minister no one is spared the misogyny online or offline it is perfectly kosher in our electoral democracy to publicly call women nachne wali jersey cow wish kanya 50 crore ki girlfriend and worse question is is decency dead in our electoral politics is there any red line that our netas will not cross Yes of course a lot gets said in the heat and dust of elections but should we as voters and citizens just accept it and say ye to hota hai perhaps our politicians both male and female should remember that in 12 states in india there are more women voters than men in 2019 more women showed up to vote than men and as i said respect is a two way street Let me go across to my guests who are joining me this evening. Shikhar Rai, spokesperson of the BJP; Advocate Mahima Singh is spokesperson of the Congress; Sudarshana Mukherjee is spokesperson of the TMC; and Sanjay Jha is an author joining us on the broadcast. Sanjay, I'm coming to you first, uh, simply because I'm looking at the three lovely women on my screens and thinking to myself, each one, each one will have a case against the other, because as they say, is hamam me sab nange hain. But my simple question is, is decency dead in public life in electoral politics look at all the red lines that are constantly crossed and were crossed in the last 48 hours shreya the short answer is yes it is very regretful and highly disappointing and no matter what words you use the fact remains that we have to accept the reality of our times that our political or public discourse is at an abysmal low it has never been good is getting progressively worse now i need to be very honest here that whatever are the allegations made uh, you know i i think uh, anybody referring to the very popular actor with the kind of language that was used was pathetic i mean i i agree that you know i'm glad supriya has apologized but the truth is this is not the kind of conversations we should have now you know it's very unfortunate once again that it's become into a political hot potato it would be i would expect that but you know as i as i keep you know i just saw a picture of mr modi having a conversation uh, about an unfortunate uh, again somebody who was attacked or uh, whatever physically assaulted in in um, west bengal and this is the same prime minister who doesn't say anything mm -hmm. about manipur hasn't been there and we saw the gang rape pictures the women wrestlers insulted a sexual harassment case not a word bilkis banu's rapist released on india 75th august 15th independence day no comment what kind of a country are we becoming and you know i would just request because you know i have a lot of respect for all the three women on your show i don't know them personally but i i think they all come from the right place and you have been exceptional in your own capacity the way you have handled these issues in the past i would just request everybody can we on this program uh, just be a lot more dispassionate and neutral make it bipartisan because i think women suffer as a whole in this country and i need to tell you this very frankly uh, I, I, as as a member of the the male society we are patriarchal we are misogynistic i have to tell you that straight i mean i can tell you that even today women when they go out they are concerned about what they wear what will somebody say about them they you are i think all of you experienced that it in different quarters right uh, you know all kinds you of know, uh, insinuations yeah. in you and those here's the point and and a subtle form of harassment uh, you know here, here's the point in the last 48 hours we have learned it's not just the men that patriarchy uh, somehow manages to transcend borders that women yeah. can be as patriarchal as men women can be as misogynistic as men that is something i've learned in the last 20 years of my career and relearned in the last 48 hours shikhar i we have asked questions for the last 48 hours to the congress party so i am going to start with you today you have gone to the election commission against supriya shrinet and said the election commission needs to take action against her i want to ask you whether the same courtesy will be extended to miss mamta banerji as well
Uh, Shreyaji, one thing definitely I would uh, like to stress upon is that every woman deserves dignity as you started with this term. Of course, yes, being a woman, I would lay uh, more emphasis on this that yes, every woman deserves uh, dign uh, dignity, be it in politics or hmm. in any other hmm. sphere. So now, when, and especially in politics, when uh, uh, she is before the public for uh, her promises, for her future in uh, this, for asking the vote, she's there in public. Now, when uh, uh, Ms. Supriya uh, Srinayet uh, posts in, uh, this on her Instagram, like something which is so derogatory, which is hitting below the belt, and then blaming that on her handle, on her uh, uh, some parody account, I just want to ask, here a woman is speaking such derogatory words against a woman and the Congress party, the Congress Shikha leadership. Ji. Like they, they, all the time their leaders have coined You are a very like good spokesperson of the BJP, Shikaji, which is why you have deflected the question I've asked you. Shikaji, you are a very good, competent spokesperson, which is no, why you are very cleverly I, I have, deflected uh, the, the question answer, I asked yes, you. What Kangana Rana, what? I think my no, you haven't. That only. So, so does it mean that the ticket that has been given to Mr. So said, Dilip yes, Ghosh will be withdrawn? Given the fact that if you are... Is, so, you, what you are... If it has been hit huh. by anybody, yes, anybody can go to the uh, uh, huh. concerned authority. Uh, to put across uh, his or her opinion and uh, for relief. Yes, why not? But what is your party doing against him? He has made a awfully misogynistic comment against a father. In fact, he's hit below the belt. What is your party doing about it? Has it publicly reprimanded him? Has it told Mr. Dilip Ghosh, bhai, keep quiet in public and apologize. Has he apologized? No, he hasn't apologized. So it's all very well for you, Miss Rai, to come on a panel and say, uh, every woman deserves her dignity. Uh, but how does that say anything about what your party has done about Mr. Dilip Ghosh and what he has said? If they keep quiet, it means they endorse what he has said and the party leadership has kept quiet I'm about it. The party whether... leadership has not told him to apologize and he has not apologized. That is... This is the same thing that I'm, uh, I'm putting across as to what the Congre le Congress leaders did when Mr. Ms. Supriya Srinayet, uh, she posted uh, a picture of uh, Ms. Ranaut on her Instagram with such derogatory remarks. Did they come out for that? Did Mr. Rahul Gandhi, Mr. Ms. Priyanka Gandhi and uh, even Sonia Gandhi, did they come out of any action against uh, her? Even at least they should have said sorry to her. So this is my question also as to whether these remarks were ever condemned by any leader of Achha. the party, be it not only Congress, so any other Indian you are party saying leader. If, okay. Okay, I'll let the TMC spokesperson come in, Sudarshana Mukherjee. Sudarshana Mukherjee essentially, Shikharai ji is saying that if no one had the decency, no one in the leadership had the decency to apologize. Congress leadership had the decency to apologize to Kangana Ranaut, then why should you expect an apology? Why should Mamta Banerjee expect an apology from the BJP's leadership or from Dilip Ghosh? Absolutely. You are raising the right point, Swaya. I'm so thankful to you that these are the misogynistic persons and they are actually exposing on television, on media, the moral bankruptcy to the bottom. It is a disgrace to the political leadership of BJP. It is not only about apology. It is about a minimum political currency that the only chief minister of India deserves. He is the chief minister. He is the lady fighter who has fought tyrannical left-front government and all her welfare schemes have been internationally acclaimed. She will be reaching the announce of history, let me tell you hmm. today. And about apology, we have never received any apology. Let alone Modi should have at least reprimanded Dilip Ghosh, as you have rightly pointed out. He should have at least reprimanded that don't go in public uh, speaking bad about women. He has thoroughly been, throughout been bad mouth. He has lost his party presidentship of the Bengal unit. He has been even replaced from his own constituency, mm. if you know, it has been yesterday. He even, mm. If you can uh, remember, Shreya, when Correct. he was being interviewed, 
when he was being interviewed by a reporter, a local TV reporter, he said about his own party candidate that she, because she is a lady, that she doesn't know the constituency well. Very nice, Billy Ghosh. Even before uh, she, he had also spoken about Bermuda. He had now is asking about his the origin of our BB. Even before that, Shubhendra Sikari had also asked about BB Sari. So there is no end to it. This is the political. Uh, the prejudice hmm. of the Bengal woman in general, it is a party which is anti-women. It is okay. a party which is against all the women of uh, all over India. We, uh, we, uh, I just heard on your TV, because I'm not getting the visuals enough, I'm sorry to say, but uh, you were saying that uh, Kangana oh. has said about uh, some rishis. We also in our society, it is the, uh, our Hinduism that we venerate Durga. Dilip Ghosh had challenged Durga a few, okay. uh, even uh, almost one year back, if you remember. Okay, okay, okay. Advocate Mahima Singh, what was Supriya Srinath thinking? She has said, I didn't do it. Someone else did it. My social media handles are controlled by other people as well. Point is, the damage has been done. No one is buying what she's saying right now. What was she thinking? And has she given the perfect launch pad to Kangana Ranaut? You know, the day you get a ticket, a day after that, you're making headlines for 48 hours straight. Jai Hind, uh, Shreya, first I would like to say in Haseeb Soza's style, Hamare Shaher ke logo ne kya kya zehen paya hai, haqeeqat bhool jate hai, fasana yaad rakte hai. The truth is, the BJP has been jeopardizing the stakes of the women in this country, the rights of the women in this country, uh, you know, intentionally so. Something that happened inadvertently, unintentionally, which... Supriya so uh, Srinath immediately apologized for at the first instance is being, uh, you know, blown out out mm. of proportion. Whereas, I remember the Prime Minister once said, Beti bachao, uh, beti, padhao, beti patao. It was a slip of a tongue. Okay. But did he ever come out and apologize for that? No, he never did. You see, you have rightly uh, put out that, you know, each woman uh, deserves dignity. You have spoken very well about that. And all of us agree with that. All of us uh, put ourselves out at the cost of our, uh, you know, our, our own um, comforts. And what for? Not for this, for sure. So what happened from Supriya Srinath's account has happened inadvertently. But the BJP's silence over Manipur, over Hathras, over Unnao, over... Uh, Katwa over Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh's audacity over the wrestlers being mistreated. That was not inadvertent. Here's a woman and child development minister. I would rather call her rumor and propaganda development minister because only two in on only on two instances she comes out and speaks uh, for women. One is for her own daughter. And second is for whenever the BJP has uh, an agenda where they want uh, want to uh, project, uh, you know, themselves against the misogyny. But when it comes to the rights of the daughters mm -hmm. of this country, of a common woman in this country, the BJP, the Woman and Child Development Minister, the NCW chief, all are very conveniently silent. And the BJP spokesperson here on your show also. We condemn slurs against women at every level across party lines. Even if it was one of my party leaders that mm. cast a slur against a woman, I would, uh, uh, you know, accordingly mm. say that he's wrong in, uh, he or she is wrong in doing so. But Supriya Srinath came out clean within mm. hours. Where do we hear the BJP's mm. stance against all these instances that I am citing? BJP has the most number of MPs Shikha and MLAs tainted with crimes against women alleged uh, uh, crimes against women, yet they go on giving tickets to, to those misogynistic candidates. And we recently saw Pawan Singh in Sol and Upendra Rawat as well. Respond so to that. See, here's the party that actually has... Uh, Shikha Rai, respond to that. Uh, I think the first uh, answer I would like to give is about the... Uh, that Supriya, uh, Supriya that apologized. The Supriya apologized. Mr. Ghosh yeah, hasn't apologized. Women also, just a minute. Just, BJ, just a minute, Ms. Rai. Just a minute, Ms. Rai. Let's yeah, talk about women empowerment in just a bit, Mr. I just hear me out. Uh, yes, Mr. Okay. I just just hear me out, and of course uh, I'll allow you to answer. Uh, the point is this: A. Supriya Srinath apologized. Okay. Fact is, Dilip Ghosh hasn't apologized. No one has asked him to apologize. So there is a difference in attitude there. Secondly, you know the moment, the moment the Kangra Ranaut incident happened, the National Commission of Women rightly 
intervened and asked the election commission to look into the matter, right? They wanted action against Supriya Srinet. Why is the National Commission of Women and its chief Rekha Sharma sleeping when it came to uh, Mamta Banerjee uh, being, being spoken about the way she has been spoken about uh, by Mr. Dilip Ghosh? Is it because he's a BJP MP and anything that a BJP MP says is kosher, See, but uh, anything that a Congress spokesperson says is not kosher? We are seeing a difference in attitude here as well, Ms. Rai. It's not just what happens, but how a party responds yeah, to what happens that tells a lot about where it is going. No, but has the Congress party responded to uh, Supriya uh, Srinathji's uh, post? No, first of all. And then, it she has been apologized. said that she apologized and said that uh, my hand, uh, uh, this Instagram handle was... Uh, uh, Handled by so many people, it was given to so many people. There was parody account, but then when there was a parody account and a mischief was done on that account, but how come mm. it did came on her uh, official Instagram one? Can we ever believe to this uh, fact that somebody who has an official Instagram and he does not approve of what is being posted on uh, her Instagram and she come, simply comes and... Miss Rai, and say, I agree with oh, what you are uh, saying. Investigate into this. this is the third time, time you are saying it. I agree with what you are saying. This is not justification of what Ms. she Rai, is Miss Rai, I agree with what you are saying. Yeah. So I agree with what you are saying because you have said it three this times. But that is not the question I asked you. I asked yes, you, but the, I asked you, how is it okay leader. for the NCW chief to react when something happens to Kangna Ranaut, but not react when something happens to Mamta Banerjee? How is it okay yes, if Shukriya Srinath so apologizes, which yes, he has, but Dilip so Ghosh is not asked to apologize? It, was, it is undeserving um. of a woman, undeserving of a woman, then definitely uh, uh, the commission would come out for her and ask for her relief uh, for her. But they haven't. If the party is with the alliance, and it is run by someone who belongs to the BJP, and does not tell her to apologize or condemn her. This is essentially hypocrisy playing out. Anyhow, we we'll leave it there because this is this is a debate that can carry on through the rest of this evening. But Shikara, we we'll leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much, uh, Mahima Singh. Thank you very much for joining us. So Darshana Mukherjee, thank you very much. Sanjay, you have twenty seconds. Anything you would just a minute. Anything you would want to say after listening to the three la three ladies uh, on the panel this evening? Yeah, I would, Shreya. I think you know what we are witnessing here is the price that we pay for a polarized society. I'm telling you in their hearts, in their conscience, all of them know that whether it is their party or the opposition party that has said uh, stuff that is very outrageous, unfortunate, or terribly outlandish, and, and frankly speaking, despicable, they all have to take a posture because it's such a polarized environment. And people who are part of political parties are expected to defend their parties at any cost. And that is the consequence where, you know, the issues on which we should be together, like gender disparity, poverty, inequality, you know, communal harmony, these things all die out. And I'm telling you, all the three women, I'm sure, come from the mm -hmm. right place, but they're hamstrung by the politics of our times. Mm -hmm. We'll leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much, uh, Shikhar Rai, for joining us on the broadcast. Advocate Mahima Singh, thank you very much. Sudarshana Ji, thank you. And Sanjay Ji, always good to have you on the show. Thank you very much. Slipping into a quick break on the show. There's much more on the other side. Do stay with us.